Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play the factors version of Math Balloons. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have over 200 free math games to play, as well as fun free puzzle logic games to play, and there's never any membership or sign up required. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start out, this is the menu you're going to see. This start button will take you to the game. Instructions button will take you to the written instructions. The video tutorial button will take you to this video tutorial. And the more games button will take you to our site where you can play our games. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the start button. When you first start out, you'll only be able to play the first level. The others are locked. And as, it, as you can successfully complete the first level, you, the second level will become unlocked and you can either play the second level or go back and uh, play the first level again and try to get a better score. Okay, let's go ahead and play. Now this is like any other match three game and the object of the game is to get three of the same cut, three or more of the same colored balloons in a row, either horizontally or vertically. And once you do that, the background uh, where you made the match will change from gray to yellow and to successfully complete a level you'll need to have all the squares on the board yellow the background to yellow and you'll have to do that before the time runs down to zero or before you lose all five of your lives when uh, okay so this button here if you click this button it basically refreshes the uh, board and you see I'm doing that it changes up the board and that's how you'd restart the level if you ran out of time uh, or started to run out of time and just wanted to restart the level. Okay so this this button here will take you to the main menu. This button toggles the music on and off and this button toggles the sound off on and off. This will pause the game and just click that to return to the game. So the way you make matches are you will, uh, the way you do it is you will have to remove balloons and the way you remove balloons is and there's a statement here and it's either true or false and you'll have to make the uh, correct judgment on that so let's go ahead and I'll show you how it works and I'm gonna go ahead and make a match right across these three squares by getting rid of this balloon and this blue one will drop in and make the match so 3 is a factor of 13 that is not correct that statement is false so I'm gonna say it's false and we made a match and actually did pretty good we got some other squares, a bonus match also. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a match down here by having this orange one drop down. 3 is a factor of 55. That is false. I got quite a few bonus matches there. Now, looking around for a place, good place to make a match. So there's really, I don't see any obvious one right now. So what I'm, well, there's one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and say, look at this one. 2 is a factor of 15. That's false. Now I'm going to try to make, uh, now what I'm trying to do is try to make matches over these gray ones because these other ones are done. And uh, what I'll try to do is we've got two blue ones here. I'll try to see if I can't, I'll keep removing the balloon here until maybe a blue one, until I get a blue one. Hopefully I'll get a blue one to drop down and make a match here. Two is a factor of 19. That's false. Three is a factor of 52. That's false. Two is a factor of 16. That's true. Three is a factor of 37. That's false. Uh, three. That's true. 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 No. No. Uh, okay. So there's no blue one coming in yet. But I did notice once I get rid of this one, I'll make a match over these four squares here with the green ones. So four is a factor of 64. That's true. And actually got rid of that line there. And I can take get rid of these right here. These gray backgrounds by two is a factor of 11. That's false. Uh, get rid of this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens, how you lose a life, and what I want to do here is go ahead and answer this one uh, incorrectly. So 2 is a factor of 35. That's false, but I'm going to go ahead and say true, and watch what happens up here. I lost a life, and I get a new uh, uh, statement down here. I'm going to go ahead, 3 is a factor, that's false. What I'm going to try to do, okay, there we go, if I drop, <coughs> get rid of this balloon here, then I'll get rid of that squares, uh, gray backgrounds, uh, boxes with gray backgrounds here. So, four, that's false. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try to get rid of this one. Uh, it's false. It's true. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop. 
Oh, I answered that wrong. Okay. Uh, okay. Follow us in there and got rid of those. Now, try what I'm going to, okay, to get rid of these two here, I'm going to try to drop these, get these purple ones in a row, and I'm going to do that by uh, getting rid of that one, and then get rid of this one. And now I'm going to try to get three in a row over, over this one, and the way I'm going to do that is, uh, there we go. I was hoping for an orange one to drop down as soon as I said that, uh, as soon as I did it, it one dropped down. Now, on this one, we're running out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and actually use, now, if I get, uh, drop this purple one in here, true, now I just have these two left. Hopefully I can do that before I run out of time. Um, <clears throat> let's see what I do here. Uh, go ahead and get rid of this one. And if I can hopefully keep doing, getting rid of this one until a red one shows up. There we go. Now get rid of this one. What I'm going to do that is hopefully I'm going to get get rid of this one. And hopefully a green one will show up soon before time runs out. Uh, there we go. And so that's I completed the level. And you can either go to the main menu, go to the next level by clicking this button, or submit your score. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the main menu. And you'll see that the second level is unlocked. And there's my score for the uh, first level. And like I said, I, you can go back, play the first level again, try to beat your score, or go on and play the second level. Well, that pretty much completes the uh, video. I hope it's helped you out. I hope you like the game, and uh, I'd like to thank you for watching.